the original preps have adequate reduction, a nicely defined chamfered margin, and rounded internal line angles, so there's not really a need to modify them much. Here's our patient, Samantha. Her chief complaint was that she wasn't happy with the four veneers placed on her centrals and laterals. With the BioLase I Plus Hard and Soft Tissue Laser, I switched to a hard tissue setting that allows for removal of old restorations. On this setting, slowly guide the laser along all of the exposed aspects of the restoration while aiming the tip toward the center of the tooth. This will allow the laser to obliterate the bonded interface between the restoration and the cement. The mechanism is essentially micro explosions of the water molecules along the cement interface. I must admit, it's pretty satisfying to see the restorations pop off intact once enough of the bond breaks down. Once the old veneers are off, I pack a size triple zero cord into the sulcus of each tooth to help drop the tissue down a bit apically. Now we need to clean the preps. I use a fine grit round in tapered diamond to remove the residual cement. The original preps have adequate reduction, a nicely defined chamfered margin, and rounded internal line angles, so there's not really a need to modify them much. For the canines, I place a light chamfer along the gingival margins and reduce mainly on the distal facial so the final position of the veneers will blend with the posterior teeth. I finish things off with a Venus Super Polisher to smooth and round over the incisal edges. To ensure we get a good capture of the margins in our digital impression, I pack a size one cord to provide lateral tissue deflection.